and welcome to Julia Lives. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a fantastic charcuterie board for less than $25. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to your local Aldi. I bought every single thing that you're going to see pictured, including the boards themselves right here at Aldi. Now I didn't use time this time, but you'll notice it's only $1.79. So if you are gonna do a Christmas board or Thanksgiving or New Year's, this would be a great place to come. I love time, fresh time on the boards around the holidays. But for today, I tried to stick with a Halloween theme. I was going to get peanuts because they're inexpensive, but they didn't have candy corn. So I bought what I could find here. If I was doing this for a different purpose, I might've gone to another store to get the candy corn. But they also had this dried fruit. I passed on it, but the apricots would have been a nice little touch. However, you're gonna find they have every single thing you need. I didn't go with the pumpkin loaf, but again, that would have been a nice pick. I thought the cookies were a little too big, so I went with these mini cupcakes. And then you're gonna find a whole aisle full of crackers. You can get any kind of cracker really that you would need here. I also found too those cute little $11 meat sticks or their, their mozzarella cheese wrapped in meat. That would be really cute on a Halloween themed board. I ended up buying this salami instead just because I wanted to show you how to make a salami chain, which you'll see later in the video. Now we're gonna peruse all the cheeses and dips. They go on for days here. The prices cannot be beat. Now, if you've not been to Aldi, you will need to bring your own bags or you're going to have to purchase a bag. You're also gonna to need to pack 25 cents or a quarter for the shopping cart itself. So you have to rent the cart and bring your own bags. But hey, at these prices, who can complain? I was in and out of here in about 15 minutes, but I also shopped around 6 p.m. on a Saturday. If you don't have a lot of time, Aldi has their own charcuterie shop set up for your convenience right across from the meat and the cheese. So you could literally go to the back of the store, get everything you needed in probably five minutes, check yourself out and there you go now i don't follow a lot of rules for charcuterie which you're going to see in a minute i pick what my family likes there are people that would be diehards and say oh my god what are you doing here but again i want to play to my audience and we don't necessarily like cheese that tastes awful or other little strange meats that taste funny i just don't get into that i like a straightforward board. I did include if you want some name brand things here or depending on your audience, if you're having a board for little kids, they might like these cookies. I just spent just over $48 here for all this food. The $48 does not include the boards themselves. Those were $14.99 a piece. Yes, they came from Aldi and they are solid marble. These in a store like Williams and Sonoma would probably be $40. But when you shop at Aldi, you've got to get when the getting's good. If I would have passed these up, they wouldn't have been there. That one was $9.99. And again, today when I went, these boards weren't there, but this is a picture of my haul. I did add some plastic spiders I had lying around. Aldi did not have those today. Sometimes they do. I also bought hazelnut because I wanted caramel, but Aldi didn't have caramel. So again, I got what they had in stock. I'm also including a couple of candy eyes that I had around my house and then those metal salad hands. You see those? I got those at Target several years ago on clearance. One board, $22.64. Thanks to everybody who subscribed to Julia Lives. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, I sure appreciate it. It does something to the YouTube algorithm so that people will see this video. And I don't want people to miss out on charcuterie boards for less. If I would have spaced things out differently, I could have easily made three boards with the $48 that I spent. Like I said before, I play to the audience that I am serving to, so I don't follow all the rules that you're supposed to have with charcuterie. My people don't like brie, they don't like other things like goat cheese, I actually don't like it either. So a lot of the, the cheese snobs would probably just die to see me using this stuff, but that's what my people like, so that's what we picked. And I also too am not a professional chef. Do not watch my cutting skills 
and think this is the proper way to handle a knife. In fact, some of you are probably cringing. That's okay. I watch it and I go, oh my gosh, that's how I'm cutting? <laughs> that's a little scary. But so again, do maybe the opposite of what I do. And if you watch any videos from cheese enthusiasts, you'll see that their knife has holes in it usually. I don't mess around with that either. I don't really care. This is good enough. Now, I will show you in just a minute how to make those cute little salami chains. I feel like every charcuterie board has to have those. You need at least one fancy looking cheese and especially for Halloween, I thought that that red edge was really cute and you always wanna make sure with a cheese like that, that each slice has that outer rim or, or edge to it. So this is the perfect cheese to cut in triangles. It's also nice because it then gives a different shape. So you have different textures, different colors, different shapes throughout your cheeses. I tend to go more with the soft and the semi-soft cheeses. I don't have any hard cheese on here. I guess I could have thrown on some Parmesan, but again, nobody in my family would eat that. So I just put out what I think they'd eat. I thought this was kind of cute for Halloween. I found that jam right in the Aldi charcuterie shop. They also have a four pack of jam that you can buy. And the bottles on the four pack are small and they're really cute. So you could actually put those right on your board. They're small enough that that would fit just fine. And again, you want to clean off any extra, extra debris on the edge of your bowl. Now, speaking of bowls, I bought these little glass bowls at the Dollar Tree. They were only a dollar. Nowadays, my Dollar Tree charges a dollar twenty-five. But who would know? These are, are glass. They're not even plastic. They're actually glass bowls, a dollar a piece. I feel like that was a steal. So don't be afraid to go to the Dollar Tree or other places to get your service wear as well. Since I'm doing a Halloween theme, the spiders seem to make a lot of sense, but if you were doing this around the holidays, you could get a little sprig of dill or even thyme and put that on the edge and that would look really festive and cute. So just be creative with whatever you have on hand or even if you have to buy some herbs, they're not that expensive if you go to Aldi. I just thought I'd show you the contents here in case you're trying to do keto. Now this would not be keto, but it's pretty good. I feel like it tastes just like Nutella. And with this one, I decided to put a couple of eyes. I probably could use a piece of carrot and made like a round mouth or something, but I felt like for the sake of this video, the eyes were just fine.
Normally when I do this, I do wear plastic gloves that I get at the Dollar Tree. They're like the what I call the lunch lady gloves or the big kind of like, almost like saran wrap kind of gloves so they don't have chalk or anything on the outside of them. But since I was doing this video, I thought I'm just gonna use clean hands for now. But these salami chains are really easy to make. And I'm gonna show you the whole package so you get an idea of how much this makes. But look, anybody can do this. You could even have, if you have kids or grandkids, have your kids help you. It's super easy and it really does create a nice texture to your board. The other thing that I like about the chains versus the salami roses is these are pretty easy to get apart. So that way when people come up and they're grazing over the board, they can get their chain without disrupting the whole decoration. With those roses, I feel like those always get kind of torn apart and it just looks weird. These are pretty neat and they're accessible to everyone because it's only two pieces that are hooked together. And also too, before you make these, you wanna leave your salami out at room temperature for a little bit. I'm not talking a whole day, like maybe 30 minutes. It just makes them a lot more flexible. The weight and the, the slicing on these all these salami pieces is perfect. It's not too thick, it's nice and thin, but not overly thin. It is like the perfect weight to do these salami chains. I put my olives on some paper towel just to make sure I got all the juice out of it. And then I had one green apple, but you might have noticed I put a picture of the honey crisp apples at Aldi. The prices were great and the the apples were gorgeous. I would totally eat those if I liked honey crisp, but I like these tart Granny Smith apples. Again, you don't want to watch me using a knife here. Wielding this knife is a little scary, but I love a green apple on a charcuterie board. It's just very easy to present. So I decided to use the square board. You'll notice it has little feet on the bottom of it. I picked this one because it was bigger. I know I knew that I had too many items to fit on that other black oval. And again, I could have probably used both of them easily, but just for the sake of showing you what it looks like with one board, you'll see me filling this up quite nicely. And I had plenty left over after I put this beginning board together. I realized as I was looking at everything, the bowls would not fit on here, but if I wanted to make two boards, I would have probably used less of the Monterey and Colby Jack. 
and put the bowls on the board and that would have taken up a little bit of space and then would have allowed some of that cheese to go over to the other board. I also could have cut the port wine and almond cheese in half if I was gonna try to make two boards out of this. But you'll see it just comes together beautifully. And then I have a use too for the candy eyes. You'll see in just a minute when I start putting the olives out and using the little eyes, it just looks so cute. But you'll find that you can just get creative and do whatever you think works best. Now, isn't that cute? Wait until you see the whole board completed, covered in these little olives with their eyes looking back at you. Now you just sprinkle the blackberries kind of randomly. And then that was the big splurge. Those almonds were $4.99 a bag. And instead of the peanuts that I looked at originally, but again, you just kind of sprinkle these liberally across the board. I only used about half a bag putting these out on this particular board. And I thought that was perfect. So the prices at Aldi really cannot be beat. And the quality of the food is really good. You might know that Aldi is owned by Trader Joe's or vice versa. I believe it's brothers that own the store. You can comment if you know more about that than I do. But I feel like compared to TJ's, you're gonna get a great board here at probably about half the price. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm gonna show you all the food I had left over. After I assembled this board, I still had all of this, so I could have definitely done another board. And then I also wanted to show you a couple of pictures of a buffet I put together a few years ago for my daughter when she had a Halloween party at her house during middle school. Isn't that hilarious? And I got those silver pans from the Dollar Tree. 